Alright guys, I got a quick video for you today. As you can see, I got the NFL Blitz here. Now, unfortunately this NFL Blitz uh, had a mishap. It uh, The monitor went out on me. I, I have a uh, code going. It's gonna in some kind of test mode, so the uh, the monitor on my NFL Blitz uh, isn't working right now, and I have some ideas on how to fix it. And trying to get a hold of Arcade One Up, trying to get that fixed. But while while I uh, I needed this cab because um, we uh, did a tournament uh, Super Bowl Sunday of uh, uh, 2024, and we did the uh, Super Bowl. NFL Blitz, uh, brought to you by Yo Retro, with my boy Chaotic and uh, his partner in crime, uh, half a dozen. They put on a uh, arcade one-up NFL Blitz tournament for us, and the uh, he's part of the uh, Arcades Anonymous crew, and uh, so they put on that Blitz tournament, and I still need to play because uh, I need to still represent. But uh, so I had to. Pull out, pull out my cab. I'm gonna pull it up here. I had to pull out my deck and I uh, had an extra monitor so I could play. And then we had the camera rig. That's how I taped it. I tried using this cheapo camera right here that I got from Molly's. I just used that as a face camera and I, I put the good camera on on the Blitz. It turned out pretty good. Unfortunately, I didn't last past the first round, but that's okay. Shout out to the bad guy Mike for winning that. But anyway, that's not why I wanted to uh, make this video. I just want to give everybody a shout out because that's what started all this. Trying to get, find a cool way to tape the Blitz because the Blitz uh, is a hard, hard cab to, uh, to uh, videotape. I wish RK One Up would put some uh, spectator mode and make it so we could do some more tournaments like that because man, this is a fun cab even without the late hits. But anyway, get to it. So. What I want to show you guys while I was playing with this thing is that these uh, controllers are really good, but uh, I found a little secret. This this cab has a little secret. You can use controllers. Yes, you can. Not all controllers. I have a bunch of different kinds of controllers sitting here, but I'm going to show you the ones I've tested so far and I've gotten to work. Maybe you could test some ones out. Maybe you can get farther than I did. But I, I have a large selection here. I got the 8-bit dough. Um, what is this called? The Pro 2. Really nice controller. Um, works with a Switch really well. I got the Xbox Series X um, controller. And then I got a PS4 controller right here. The DualShock 4. And then I got a generic like Atari, or not Atari. Uh, Nintendo controller, um, just a basic Nintendo controller, just when you buy at uh, Best Buy that you let the kids play and not ruin your uh, Joy-Cons. So that's kind of what my thing is, and I also have an Xbox 360 controller and a PS5 controller. So I was like, I was just curious because I'm going to show you, if you, uh, you get this thing out, you're going to see right behind, there's a USB. USB right here, and uh, I put a little well USB hub on there so I could test this out, make it a little easier. Now, let's see here. Now, as you can see, the PS5 controller. This is the first one I tested. Um, uses USB-C. I got it plugged in, and then um, and then uh, all the other. Uh, uh, controllers are probably um, the Xbox 360 controller that uses USB-C too, and so does the 8-bit dough. Um, yeah, and then the rest are um, micro uh, USB, which really sucks. Micro USB is not good. This one's like really, really down there, so this one's kind of hard to plug in. So what I wanted to check, just test out to see if you could actually use a controller with the NBA Jam and turns out you can yes you can so what I first I just plugged in the PS5 controller and lo and behold it works so if you plug it in now there is 
uh, a caveat to this as I as I uh, show you this I'm gonna have to do this with one hand um, you can push the button and it works so depending on which game and how these mapped um, it's the it's using basically um, so you depending on which blitz you play um, I was put in 99 because most people aren't playing 99 but if you go into the game press a button sure enough it will work so it loads up Let's see it's yep so this one's four player and um, the start button works to get I think you start to yeah start button to purchase a game now you might be wondering can you use two controllers you sure can because I also found out the Xbox 360 I have this really cool Disney Infinity one um, if you I think this one use the select button but yeah the only thing is you're on the same team on, on this one so you can you can only be on the same team so the like uh, NFL Blitz the original doesn't have four player so you can't uh, you can't uh, use that so I'm, I'm just curious if I get enough controllers it takes up because it takes over this this one and this one doesn't work anymore see it doesn't these two but if I hit let's see here so if I hit start on one of these yeah so so it takes over I want to say the starts from the right and moves over starts over here here I wonder if I put four controllers in there if we could just all play controllers and you don't even need the deck so if you uh, pick up a PCB an uh, NFL blitz PCB and uh, you don't have it you don't have the deck you could actually still play this which is kind of cool now this doesn't work off the bat um, to get this to work when you first start it up it won't work um, I'll show you that. So when you re reset it, so if you if you check this, test this out and you're like, ah, oh, JPEX lied to me. He said this would work and what? So uh, let me show you how you got to do it. So first of all, when you turn it on, there's there's another caveat too while this is loading. Once you get into the game with the controllers, you don't have any sound for some reason. I don't know if it's trying to map the sound through the that uh, USB headset. Or something like that don't know what's going on there but as soon as you get into the game with the controllers working no sound which is weird now uh, so there's a basic intro so let me go to so it'll boot up right away and this thing is slow okay so now I'm gonna try to use the controller okay now it works now it's making me a liar okay so let's just say it didn't work. So that just worked out the bat. Let's say if you get to a point where you're like, this didn't work, all you have to do is go into a game. See, see it's taken over. So this side isn't working. So I wonder, so that's what it does. It's taking over that side. So, um, so if I unplug it, so this will just show the opposite of it. So if we unplug them, unplug. See, none, both of these aren't working, so I get one of them to work by going into a game, and then you, you, you load a game in, and then you, you back out, and then once you back out, it kind of resets. See, now I have sound. I have sound because I turned off uh, one of the controllers. See, we have sound now. So let's, uh, let's kick that back out. We'll leave. All right. New game, yes. So now this is working again. So now, so that one doesn't work, but this one does. So that's what, when I unplugged the PS5 controller, that's what that was. Now if I plug it back in, it won't work. So we'll do that real quick. Sorry about that. All right, plug that back in. And now it doesn't work. See, it doesn't work anymore. But, to 
solve that problem, we will go back in. We're into the game. Just a second. Player, blah blah blah. This is actually pretty fun. So the ones you can play four player on, I believe, are 99 and 2,000. All right. Let's see here. All right. So, so we have the other one in there. No sound. All right. So we're gonna leave that game. Leave it. Yes. So it's just taking over one of these controllers, and it's not letting you do two. Now, there it is. It works again. See. So that's how you get it. You got to kind of reinitialize it. So if you just want to play with a controller, you can do it. So yeah, I thought I'd show that off to you guys. It's something I figured out. Now, like I said, I haven't been able to get an Xbox 360 controller or a Series X controller or any of these generic 8-bit does. But you can, if you guys want to play around with one, maybe you can find one that works. The two I found though are the PS5 controller and the Xbox 360 controller wired. So these are all wired. I don't know about wireless, but uh, yeah, I thought that would be pretty cool to show off. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, check out our uh, other channels and stuff, our other groups. We, like I said, we got uh, Arcades Anonymous. They'll be in the bottom. If you look in the bottom of my page, I have all our crew. We got Arcades Anonymous. We got uh, Chaotic on there. He's uh got yo retro with half dozen and uh, we're just we're just having fun playing these arcade arcade games and, and again check out my channel gamer fridge i'm jay pixel pxl and uh, we're just having fun playing with this stuff and i gotta get back to uh, trying to figure figure out what's wrong with my monitor so i got the spare one luckily and uh, we'll try to figure that out and i'll see you guys next time you guys have a great day